Your boy's going through some sleep problems. So yes, I know I look pretty sleep deprived. I wanna go over the RTX 4070. And the first thing that I wanna say before we go over all the information in this article is please don't get upset with me for saying this, okay? But if we take a 3090 gaming, I need to make that clear. I'm speaking about gaming. Dude, the 4070 Ti basically performs the same way as an RTX 3090 for gaming. I'm not talking about for stuff like video editing, graphic design, etc. Because yes, of course, the extra memory in the 3090 and the 3080 and the 48, like I'm just, the only reason I'm saying that man is because this says that the price for the RTX 4070 is gonna be $600. And based off of what we have with the 4070 Ti, I am guessing that the 4070 is gonna be like performing right alongside the 3080. So with that said, the 3080 and the, the nine, to be fair, let's be on, let's just be really abundantly honest right now. The 90 series of graphics car, all those are, they're just Titans. They're not meant for gamers. They're not meant for people that are looking to play video games. They're literally meant for the creative side of things. But Nvidia realized that Titan, quote unquote, wasn't making the exact same, or wasn't really doing well as far as like the sales numbers goes. So they put a nine to prove that it's better than an 80, but it's actually not for gaming. All, uh, not always, okay, like the 4090 is different. The 4090 is just like ridiculous, bro. It's like, it's like literally like four times better than like any other graphics card. So anyways, your boy got really off topic there. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys read this. I'll zoom in just to make sure that you guys can see stuff. I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be, but either way, the specs right here, I'm just saying, dude, like, <laughs> I, I mean, it's hard for me to like tell. I'm not really good with numbers. I'm not good with numbers, but like for the first thing that I'm seeing here is that it's going to be awesome for laptops. And the reason I'm saying it's better for laptops is because it's using less power across the board. We're talking like all the way across the board. The 3070 Ti was $600. The 3070 was $500. And the 4070 is gonna be $600. So when we come down here and we start comparing the 4070 to the 4070 Ti, and then we compare those to the 3070 and the 3070 Ti, dude, I'm not, the way, and this is why the numbers kind of confuse me a little bit and but if you're good with numbers that that's fine you can let me know that in the comment section below but the reason that numbers confuse me so much man is because what nvidia did with the 40 series graphics cards and the way that they function it, it like so the dual encoder just as a really quick example the dual encoders in the in the 40 40 series graphics cards you can be playing a game and using obs and one of the encoders is use is like playing the video game and the other is like using obs and then like whatever else is inside of these like the av1 support we don't even have that in a 3090 so it's like the what the what they did like as far as the technology aspect and how the actual graphics card operates and the features that the graphics card operates I, I'm not saying that I agree with the price gouging that they did. Okay. Like I'm not saying that because they are, that I mean they're, they're out of reach for most people. But with that said, dude, like now that we have the 4070, I'm hoping that more people start to like become aware of this, that the 4070 is literally the same as a, a 3080 or a, it's like twice as good as a 2080. Like the 40 series cards are insane, dude. Like you don't need, you do not need a 4080 or a 4090. Like you don't need those cards. The only thing that sucks is that, like when a new card comes out, they always go about high end, next high end, then third in place and then fourth. They don't like release them all at the same time. You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of like amd with their with their new 7950x 3d they released that because they know that the 78 3d or whatever 
is going to be just as good as the 7950 but it's half the price i don't i don't amd is an awesome company i'm not saying anything bad about them but as a creator and as somebody that is using obs and video editing and graphic design and animation software and rendering stuff in 3d i personally have run into problems with programs crashing a lot with an amd cpu and like it, linus even made a video on this the other day going over why he never ended up reviewing the 7950x but anyway we're gonna get way off topic i can talk about that um in a in a in another video and we can also kind of if like if anybody wants to set like i've been building computers like and selling them and i don't i'm trying to figure out a way that i can go about doing this and allowing you to buy them for a good price like a very good price dude i'm very fortunate and super grateful to be in the position that i'm in i don't need to be making any more money than i'm already making it, it's not going to lead to me being any more happy so my point in saying this is dude like when you build you ever wonder why ebay and amazon pre-built gaming pcs are so expensive ebay takes 15 percent of your sale Amazon takes almost 20. So th this is why people that are building brand new computers on eBay and Amazon charge so much for them because when they're selling a $1,000 computer, they literally have to increase that $1,000 computer by $150 just to break even. So then they have to, of course, increase it a little bit more because they want their, their time to be spent well. But the thing is, is I have YouTube, I have Amazon, I have a lot of different, I have a lot of sponsors and brand deals, depending on what channel you're watching this on, that, that, that I have income sources with. So I want to give back to the people supporting me. But the problem is like, I could figure out how to make a website and those are thousands of dollars. And I'm just not, I'm not at that stage where I feel comfortable doing that yet. So yeah, I'm going to end the video. Your boy got way off topic. I apologize for that, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. I think it's pretty cool. Catch you guys next one. Peace.